All right, welcome back. Buhari finally reaches out to Ata Iru's wife, others, after failing to attend the barrier amid Knox. All right, President Muhammadu Buhari has finally reached out to Fati Ibrahim Ata Iru, who is the widow of the late chief of army staff Ibrahim Ata Iru. All right, and then on to this. Atairu, alongside 10 other military officers, died in a plane crash days ago on their way to Cardona State. That incident came as a rude shock to many Nigerians. In fact, it came just a few months after Atairu assumed office amid high hopes that he would change the narrative to improve the security situation in Nigeria for the better. Buhari had come under heavy criticism for not attending the burial of Atairu and then other officers that lost their lives in that ill-fated plane crash. Buhari did not attend the burial despite the fact that he was in Abuja where the burial took place. Those who knocked the president stated that Buhari could travel as far as Paris in France to attend a summit but failed to go and pay the last respect to Atahiru and the other fallen heroes who died while serving their fatherland. They were actually angry that Buhari was in Abuja but he failed to attend the barrier. Apart from the fact that Buhari, apart from the fact that Buhari did not attend the barrier, the president did not also delegate Vice President Yemi Oshibajo to attend it. Chief to attend it. Chief among the among that the knocked Buhari was Reno Omokri and an ex aide to former President Goodluck Jonathan. As if he knew that many Nigerians were not happy that he failed to attend the burial of Atairu and then other officers that lost their lives in that crash. Buhari finally reaches out to the wife of Atairu through a phone call. Buhari condoled with Atairu's wife, who spoke on behalf of the families of the other victims, according to a report by. LIB Buhari described Atairu as an outstanding soldier and, a, and, and her institution builder who fought gallantly for Nigeria until he breathed his last. All right, Buhari assured that the sacrifices of Atairu and the other officers would not be forgotten. He prayed for the peaceful repose of their souls. Meanwhile, Buhari had directed the defense headquarters and the Ministry of Defense to ensure that they provide Atairu's family and the families of the other late officers with the support they need to be comfortable even as they mourn their loved ones. From the look of things, Buhari may still criticize Buhari may still criticize placing, uh, placing just a phone call to Atairu's family. Those may knock the president again would say that placing just a phone call instead of physical condolence to the affected families made it appear as if the issue at stake is not taken seriously at all. This is as the president had come under criticism for failing to attend the barrier even when he was in Abuja where it took place. Buhari should have attended the barrier in the first place. Better still, instead of putting a call across, he and Oshibaju should have paid a physical condolence visit to Atairu and then other affected families just like Haisha Buhari did. All right, and then as it is, majority of people have actually reacted on to this. Well, uh, the fact has, in fact, I think I will say something is fishy because 
I do not understand a situation whereby the chief of army staff will die in the course of serving the nation. And then the next thing, the president was around for to do the tono to represent to do his last respect to give so to say to give his last respect to this same man while in abuja but he never surfaced that is one thing again and then apart from apart from that a lot of people have said that even while the president was in that same abuja he never you know came to give his last respect and then no, this has now caused a lot of you no know, controversies mm. that people, in fact, to the extent that people are now like so suspicious of what exactly is going on in this country. Because we don't seem to see the president almost most of the time, most especially when it is called for everyone to see him there but if the president want to travel out you will see that it will be everywhere displaying could it be that something is going wrong with the president because now at this the thing we hear is the presidency presidency in fact the presidency has now covered up the real title of the president because we are so surprised that most of the time is the presidency that they push to us to talk to us and then these have called for concerns. And then apart from that, another thing that actually baffled me was the aspect to which after a lot of criticism, the governor now decided to like, okay, fine, let me just try and then console the wife. And then instead of you no know, going in a person, going to meet the wife, visiting the wife, he had he now preferred to call through a, a phone call. So with all this, majority of people are like, why is the president you no know, trying to why is he always trying to be invisible? What is the issue? What is the problem? What is going on in this country? Where is our president? You no, know, a lot of questions have been asked. Because you no, know, taking a look at you know, the kind of person that you know, was buried, and then apart from that, he was buried along you no know, alongside some other notable major and the likes of them and then now for the president to just pay a last his last respect to these people he didn't attend then instead of him now coming to pay the wife a visit in person he decided to make to reach out through phone calls and the majority of people have actually reacted that what is exactly going on here what is happening in this corner? What is happening in this country? Because we don't understand. We don't understand. Could it be the reason why everything is just going upside down? Could it be the reason why things are not working the way they're supposed to work in this country? Well, a lot of things are actually being said, my people. Meanwhile, let me have your take on this one. And remember to subscribe for more updates. Thanks and God bless.